In this video, we're going to go ahead and more in depth here on the XML file of my project. And so I'm going to go ahead and just click on the main XML and start looking at some of the code. Now, how the whole thing is constructed is in this linear layout, it's all vertical orientation, which means that all of my objects are going to be stacked from the top to the bottom. And that's the way we saw it when we looked at the graphical part of this. You can see that my first object that I'm going to work with is a text view, which is very similar to the label. The text that's in that is going to reference the string hello. I'm going to just hard code some text in here rather than using a string. If you really want to use strings, and my project, first project we kind of talked about creating new strings and so forth, I'm not going to go ahead and focus in on that. I'm just going to go ahead and enter some hard coded string in there. And we're just going to go ahead and type in enter bill amount. And then put the colon after that. That's what it's going to say right above the text box itself. And so right below the text view is where my text box is or my edit text and you can see the the text here um, it's going to be basically just a setup as a text box one of the things that's different is the fact that under this one here when we moved over that numeric type of edit text we've got this attribute here called Android the input type is a number decimal and that's going to change the formatting when I'm typing my numbers in to make it look a little bit different and kind of work as it work with it as a number when we work with our code so you're definitely going to want to have that number decimal if you're typing in your code and then when you're running your application you're typing in your numbers and the decimal point looks really weird you probably don't have it under the number decimal it's going to format it more type as a like paragraph or a text document would so we're going to make sure that we want to have the number decimal there. You can see that it does have focus, which means when we run our application, it's going to automatically have the blinking cursor here in my edit text. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to, I like to clean up my code a little bit and I'm going to move some of those spaces out of there so it's kind of put together. Below that I've got my radio button and I've got three different radio buttons here and you can see that they all look pretty much identical with the exception of the ID. The ID of the first one is going to be radio button one and then radio button two and radio button three. Now for naming conventions, that's okay. I'm going to leave them like that for our application. Again, if I had more than this or I had multiple sets of radio buttons, then the naming is going to be something that I want to be um, pay attention to because you're going to get confused eventually when you've got so many different buttons and they all just have a number on there. So you could come up with your own naming scheme for that. However, I'm going to go ahead and just leave these as radio button one, two, and three. Radio button one, I want to say 10%. And so what I'm going to do is replace the text and just put 10 and then the percent sign. For radio button two, I want to replace radio the radio button text with 15%. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that and put in 15 with the percent sign. And then the last radio button, I want it to say 20%. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to say 20%. So all three of my radio buttons now have a value of 10, 15, and 20. And if I switch over to my graphical layout, you can see the 10, 15, and 20% now are all there. So let's go back to the main XML. After my radio button, I've got another text view. And on this particular text view, the text just says text view. So let's go ahead and change that. And what we're going to want to say on this particular one is going to be the tip amount. It's going to be something to do with the tip amount. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in tip amount colon and we're going to go ahead and look at below that is the edit text which currently has um, no text value at all however I want to point out that it is a number decimal again that we have that we're working with so we're going to leave that one by itself I want to point out that the ID is going to be text 2 so keep that in mind and then we've got another text view that we're working with on this one here I want it to say instead of saying text view I want it to say the total bill, and so I'm going to change that one there and put a colon after it, and that's going to go ahead and say total bill, so below that we're going to have our total bill displayed here in the edit text 3. So if I switch over to the graphical layout, and I'll zoom in just a little bit, um, you can see that we've got enter bill amount, we're going to enter here, we've got our three radio buttons here, we'll have our tip amount, and then the total bill, and so those two text boxes or edit text are going to be calculated for us based on what we entered here and what we selected here in our radio buttons. And so let's go ahead and run our application just to do um, see what's going on it's just to do some modifications to it. I'm going to choose here to run as choose the Android application and hit OK. 
and it's going to ask me if I want to save any changes and I do want to save all my changes so I'll hit yes and now we're going to wait for this to load up. It's going to take a minute or two for it to load up and so I'm going to let this run through until it comes up to the desktop. And now after it loads up I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and let's go ahead and take a look at our application. So we got enter the bill amount and I can enter something in there like 34 point we'll just put 56 and you can see that it looks like a typical decimal number. I've got the option for 10%, 15%, 20%. Now you're going to see that it does not switch them. Uh, whenever I click on 15, we would have expected it to release the 10% and just select the 15%. However, we need to still set that up in our code, and that'll be in the next video. But we've got the layout here that I'm looking for. I'm also going to want to look at making these so that they're all horizontal rather than vertical. And so this is the basic um, XML. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at radio groups and how to make those radio buttons act the way that we want them to.